In this video, I'm going to show you the Maplet component. Now, Maplet is based on the same technology as Whirly Globe, so it reads a lot of the same data sources and it interacts with the user in a similar way. It can read from a pyramid image data set like the Mapbox tiles repositories, and in this case, we're looking at the geography class data set. So as you pan around, it figures out what tiles it needs to display and automatically does that for you and it gets rid of old tiles as well to make it efficient. Now, in addition to images, it can also display vectors, and that's one of its real strengths. This data set we're looking at here are country outlines, and they are stored in GeoJSON format, which is uh, very easy to parse and understand, but a little slow to read. And there, there are other formats as well. Now, when we select these vectors, the toolkit will tell us what we selected and where, and uh, we could do something intelligent with that. In this case, we're just indicating that with, yes, we know you've selected a vector. Now that selection box itself is um, a UI view. So one thing Maplet can do is track the location of the UI view given a geolocation. So in addition to vector data, we can also do labels and markers. And what these are, are uh, labels are obviously just strings um, located on top of the map and markers are uh, images. And uh, in these, this case, these are 2D screen space markers, so they, they stay the same size no matter how you zoom, and they're selectable as well. In addition to those 2D labels and markers, we can do 3D labels and markers. And what those are are objects which stay the same size relative to the map. So as you zoom in, they'll get bigger, zoom out, they'll get smaller. And they're selectable too, along with everything else. So that's the basic set of features. So, now, in addition to the, the sort of static data sets, we can also do remotely paged data sets, which is what we'll show next. And now in this case, we're pulling data from uh, an open street map repository. So as we move around and zoom in, it's pulling the tiles from that data set remotely over the network. And all the same features apply. So that's an introduction to Maply and We'll be releasing that fairly soon, um, but for now it's, uh, it's in testing and looks like it's going to be pretty good.